All right, so I'm going to go ahead here and look at a couple examples of um, inverse trig uh, anti uh, inverse trig derivatives. So what I've done is I've written the formula up for four different inverse trig functions and what their derivatives are. So you know the uh, the derivative of inverse sine is equal to uh, this right here, one over square root of one minus x squared, like I showed in a prior video how to derive that. And I didn't show how to derive the rest of them, but the, the idea would be the, the same thing, okay, to do the rest. So, now one thing you'll notice is like with uh, inverse sine and inverse cosine, um, <clears throat> they're exactly the same thing except for negative. So, really if you have one of them memorized, you pretty much have both. And the same thing with inverse tangent and inverse cotangent, um, they're exactly the same thing except for the negative right there, okay? So there is some memorization that you have to, you know, do in this, which I hate memorizing, um, unless you want to go through and derive each one every time, which is, you know, kind of silly. So it would be in your benefit to memorize it. But anyway, so let's just say, for instance, you had a function uh, like this. So like y is equal to um, inverse sine of, let's just start with something simple like 3x plus 2, how about, okay? So basically, I, I've just changed up here. Instead of it just being x, I've changed it to my inner function is 3x plus 2. So you're going to apply the same rule to this to find the derivative. So our goal is going to be to find the derivative of this, okay? You're going to apply the same rule, but you just have to also apply the chain rule here since the inner function isn't just x, okay? So right here, um, you know, basically, you know, where I have x, and, and this time instead I have 3x plus 2. So I'm going to go back in my formula, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it with 3x plus 2. So it's going to be 1 over square root of 1 minus, and then again, instead of writing just x, I'm going to write 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2, squared, okay, and since I'm using the chain rule here, since my inner function wasn't just x, now I have to multiply times the derivative of the inner function, which in this case that's just 3, so times 3, okay, and you know, you could rewrite it with just the 3 on the top if you wanted, so 3 over square root of 1 minus 3x plus 2 squared, and of course you could also, you know, simplify out the bottom, I guess, square it out if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it like that. So there's, you know, one example with inverse sine. 